Are we recording? Okay, cool. Um, welcome everyone to the Jenkins Configuration as Code Office Hours uh, for March 25th. On the call we have myself, um, Oleg and family, John, Joseph, Sladen and Antonio. <laughs> uh, we've got the agenda which is sitting in Gitter. Um, if anyone wants to add anything, feel free. You can get to the document from um, from the bottom here. Um, we'll start off with any news. Um, so recently, um, Snake, our shaded Snake Hammer was extracted out to an API plugin um, that was done by Emilio with um, Antonio's help. Um, so that's merged to master but not yet released. Um, we have I think we went through this last time, support for additional user attributes. Um, so that's currently with the local security realm. Um, you can, you'll be able to add um, things like email address, display name, um, time zone, um, SSH authorized keys, and a few other things. Um, it should be adaptable to other security realms, but I haven't tried yet. Um, so other security realms can probably use ours, but it may need it may need a little bit of work to make it so that other security realms can adapt it. It's probably restricted at the moment, um, but there's been interest in. Um, I think there was someone in Gitter who was using the Azure AD um, plugin, and they were, they wanted to have the authorized keys managed by JCASC. Um, so it probably wouldn't be too hard, but the groundwork's there for that now. Um, so I oh, might come back to the milestones one at the end if we've got time to go through it. Um, so system read was uh, merged a few weeks ago. Uh, so JCASC has support for it. It's merged but not released. We're waiting for the milestones um, before doing the next release at the moment, but we may need to move on. Um, so the bomb version bump is still there. Um, it's currently ignoring the failures in CloudBeast folder. Um, I think both Jesse and Oleg said they'd take a look at it, but I haven't heard anything. Um, it'd be great to get this over the line at some point. I'm not sure if, yeah, so basically I just ignored the test because I couldn't, I couldn't figure out why it was failing and that was enough to get it to be a green build. Um, but I haven't heard any feedback on that. Um, CI Jenkins IO is JCASC, haven't touched on that recently. Um, but the AWS side of it is starting to work on CI Jenkins IO. Um, and there's talk of moving the Jenkins master to AWS. Um, and that would be done with JCASC and the groundwork is there for it. Um, just need to pick it up again. Yeah, regarding moving master, uh, we have one major obstacle, basically lack of infrastructure is good for AWS. So right now everything on AWS is configured manually. It's not just about JCASC, it's about the entire infrastructure. Yeah. So I yeah. believe we will need to, uh, to rework it entirely um, at once uh, if you want to migrate master there. Yeah, yeah. So there's no current rush to move it there. Um, mm -hmm. And it, even if it was, I think the current one could be adapted on without moving it as well. Yeah. Um, I'll try to pack this up in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Um, secrets encryption with external secret key, Oleg. Uh, yeah, so I just put it to the agenda. Firstly, to uh, highlight that it's still in my hall of shame uh, because I got a couple of uh, private pings over the past week about this pull request. So uh, I declare my intention to get it over the line um, and uh, yeah, redeploy my uh, development environment. So I hope to get it done. For me right now, the main problem is, of course, encryptions and uh, certificates, because one doesn't easily implement it right uh, in Java, uh, but I hope to get it over the line. Cool. Well, that'll be good. Um, we have a configurator API plugin. Yeah, also by me. So I'm not sure how long you plan uh, to delay the release. Uh, for uh, the current master branch. I want to try to re-implement Configurator API so that we don't have to bump uh, the core dependency 
for JCASC. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to work on it uh, two weeks ago. I didn't get to that. Uh, but if I have any time, uh, I will do that. So the current plan is to release once we get milestones in. Yeah. Uh, in the worst case, we just release the version of JCASC and then we do a next release where we downgrade the core dependency. Yeah. Yeah. It's exactly. possible it will uh, work, so it's not a blocker. Yeah. Yeah. Um, plugin compatibility highlights. Um, so Adrian merged the mailer plugin pull request, but it hasn't been released. Um, I pinged him yesterday um, and he said he would do it, but then he was having issues with Windows CI wasn't passing. Um, but I think that's most likely because there's been a lot of instability in the infra over the last week. Yeah, I spent um, some time yesterday to get it re-triggered. I believe that uh, now master branch is still failing. Yeah. I, be I believe it passed once. And in the worst case in this plugin, we can say that uh, we go without Windows because there is really no Windows dependent functionality in the plugin. So we yeah. can leave without that for a release or two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, time zone property. Um, I think that's sitting, um, waiting for Oleg as he put it on hold. It's got a few approvals, but mm -hmm. uh, I think. Mm, right. Okay, I'll uh, do my best to review it today. Cool. It should be straightforward, hopefully. It's, mm -hmm. it's a very small change, um, but it does impact the data, mm -hmm. possibly. Um, admin monitors, this one's, everyone seems to love reviewing this PR. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's getting people from all over the place jumping in on it, but I think it's, I think it's ready. But everyone, so for so, so something that's touched so little, everyone is very interested in the thread safety of it. Um, mm -hmm. It's had about ten different review cycles and for like a fifteen line change, but pending a couple of people approving it, I, th I think it's ready. <laughs> okay. Um, log recorders. That one's a that one's basically admin monitors, but. A lot more complicated as it's, yep. as it's part of the public API. For this, uh, maybe we need to consider uh, changing implementation. So basically, the situation is similar to plugin manager because JCASC uh, works quite late uh, in the initialization cycle. So mm -hmm. we miss log entries which were created before if we uh, can configure log reporters with JCASC. Yep. So, uh, as we want to move uh, plugin manager uh, earlier to the startup cycle uh, with plugin installation manager library or with whatever other approach, for log recorders, we might need to do the same later. And maybe, for example, for system properties or whatever. So, if you want to have integrated cask experience, uh, then uh, we will likely need uh, um, a core library for that, uh, not uh, implementation in the JCASC plugin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, possibly. Um, it will certainly give the full experience. Um, but it, I mean, it depends on what people use log recorders for mostly. Um, for me, I've mostly seen it for plugins during runtime. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Anyway, it's uh, better than uh, nothing. So this pull request should be merged. But yeah, there is a probability that uh, we will have to rework it a bit later. Yeah, yeah, it's it's yeah. The complication with this is that it's part of a poor public. The it's part of a poorly designed public API, um, and maintaining compatibility is difficult. Well, uh, we have an opportunity to change some APIs. Uh, well, we can duplicate a lot of methods there because I doubt that anybody really uses them. No, it's it's, it's three plugins that touch it. Oops. Okay, yeah, I'll do my best to review all the core pull requests. Uh, I've been so behind Jenkins core and other stories, but uh, I'll uh, do my best for cask things. For the rest, I think I will be still behind uh, because of the JSOC student uh, application period and then yeah. project selection. Yeah. Um, so we've got um, some roadmap entries for the JKS sub project on the agenda. Uh, um, yeah. So, so system readers 
delivered well system read capabilities delivered um mm -hmm. and jcas has it as well yeah so for me system read uh, is still in progress with the yeah. first roadmap because we have a follow-up epic with a bunch of changes so even if we have support in principle for roadmap i would rather prefer to yeah, the release uh, when we have a good end user experience for that yeah absolutely pretty much the same for plugin compatibility, though they, it's harder to define uh, when it's done. But I think that we should uh, add it to roadmap because it's a pretty important topic for the Jenkins community. It's and a difficult one because you can't really see it. And then, well, you could have 90% of plugins compatible, um, all, mm -hmm. all plugins with over 50,000 installations compatible. Oh, yeah, I agree. But yeah, we can uh, mark it as a progress and then think how, when uh, we uh, set it to complete it. Because right now it's, uh, we still have uh, Jenkins core, we have some uh, plugins uh, which are not compatible with JCask. I mean, the popular ones. So I would rather say that right now it's not completed. Mm. Uh, but yeah, we put it in progress and then uh, we do something about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's not many major ones. It's, mm -hmm. this, this doesn't change very much anymore. It's... Yeah, because partially it's in uh, GitHub, partially it's somewhere. So I think that uh, I will. Uh, so while working on the roadmap, I will likely add an entry to the GCASC subproject page, mm -hmm. just reference uh, GitHub issues um, because yeah, we have aggregator issue there and Jira, and so be. It. Yeah, 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 and how to help and mm -hmm. documentation that sort of thing. Uh, suggestions welcome. Um, Uh, there's probably a um, configuration source API. Um, I've taken a bit of a look at it and made some progress on it, but got distracted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. It would be a good addition to the roadmap. Uh, well, we can put it uh, as uh, future or maybe short, uh, short term. I'm not sure what's your plan about that. Add configuration source. Mm-hmm. It doesn't, it doesn't look that difficult. It's just fiddling with the classes and. Well, uh, but it would also in, include some implementations, right? So, for example, this three implementation we were discussing with sliding before, maybe other implementations, because uh, API is good, but uh, we need uh, again uh, a story which is consumable by end users. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, so, yeah, so there's delivering the API and then there's the implementations. Um, mm -hmm. So the plugin would come with the simple ones out of the box and then the clouds would be off in their own plugins. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Um, I'm not sure what else there is. Um, So there's the cre the cre the secrets um, side of it that you're working on. Mm. Um, it's uh, reasonable, but I don't think that it's uh, important enough as is. Though there is um, another job, job two two five, uh, currently pending review, which would uh, create a global. So it's not it's not Jenkins Yeah. Uh, Oh, is it not? Is it, is it not merged? Uh, it's uh, in a separate repository job. Okay. Here you can open pull requests. So folder based oh, one, yeah. control layer for any credentials provider. Yeah. And I believe that uh, in its motivation, Jcask is referenced. Yeah. So I still need to talk to Chris to understand what are his plans about that because uh, it's not ready as a draft uh, right now. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, I think that uh, if uh, there is consensus that we want to, to proceed with that, 
then it, it could be a roadmap entry. Yeah, there's also potential for things like, yeah, making it easier to define folders, making it easier to define jobs. Some of the more difficult sides of. You mean defining jobs of folders as YAML? Yeah. Uh, it would be nice, of course. Job DSL works, but it's not very declarative. Mm. Yep. Yeah, so if anybody has ideas like that, just put them in the developer mailing list or submit against my pull request uh, so that we can integrate them. Uh, we will still have some time to finalize the roadmap before it goes public. I mean, one to months at least. Uh, so we can discuss it later, but uh, starting these discussions earlier would definitely help. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's a living document anyway, I assume, so it can mm -hmm. just be updated whenever we want. Exactly. Okay, um, so that'll be the mailing list post. Um, so the other item that I skipped over um, was the milestones pull request. Um, so I think we've got three issues with it at the moment. Um, we've got um, one that the test fails quite often on Java 11. Um, it fails, um, it's failed once on Java 8. Um, two that the that Oleg had the concern about race conditions between JCAS and Groovy hooks. Um, and the other one was that there's been reported issues with job DSL and um, job DSL running before the Git here servers are loaded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so job DSL is something complicated. But, well, if I don't think it's really related to this change. Because uh, if it uh, if you have race condition now, you should have had it before. The, Unless I'm missing something. The issue with the Gitria plugin is that it has some validation that it does based on the server when it tries um, to create the job, and that sh it should only do that on runtime when it like tries to check out stuff. Uh huh. So before JCASC is fully loaded. Yes. But. Yeah, again, it should have been happening before, or maybe not. No, you're right, before it was a race condition, so depending on your luck, you would have got different results. Now it would be failing consistently, uh, which is probably an improvement, um, but we need to do something about it. Is that just a change in the Kitty plugin required? I would say it, it, it would be a change in the GitHub plugin, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, so. and, well, it shouldn't do validation on the thing that a job wants to have for it. Like, it, it, I've seen other plugins that did that, and those we fixed that assume something when you change the job, it did validation. Yeah, the problem that we still don't really have documentation of how milestones should be used. Uh, maybe we really need to start a JEP or whatever for that. Well, JEP not as a full-fledged process, but as a documentation page. Uh, because, for example, right now we cannot point uh, Gitea plugin maintainers to anything. But it's not really a milestone issue, as I would say, for Gitea plugin and plugins like that. They, they shouldn't apply any assumptions to global configuration when job DSLs applies to or tries to apply a job. They should just apply and then when usually all the other plugins, when you run it, it does it on job or runtime. When you try to execute the job, it does the logic to, that it needs to check wow. that the server connection works and stuff like that. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, such uh, forum validation logic uh, in Jenkins, but we don't invoke forum validation in JCASC. So if we assume that we started invoking a common Jenkins forum validation, we would have had a lot of similar issues. Uh, yeah, GTA plugin just uh, does it another uh, routine. 
Okay. So maybe just going back to the groovy um, mm. issues. Okay. Um, so for groovy issue, I believe that we need a fix in a Jenkins core. So the one which I asked to remove from the original pull request from Francisca. Uh, so we get it, we document it, because right now uh, Groovy Hook's behavior is just not documented. So we can fix it as we prefer, document the current state, and uh, then if you introduce new milestones for those uh, who want a different behavior, new milestones and new Groovy Hooks. But yeah, for me, the only feasible way is to actually do it on the core side, because otherwise uh, you cannot really combine Groovy hooks uh, and uh, uh, JCask anymore. Right, so as you say, leave the current one as is, but document it and add new hooks so that people can use different ones if they want to. Yes. Or maybe just introduce a new groovy hook. Uh, so for me, the main problem uh, is the current state is that uh, we have LTS baseline, which doesn't mm. have uh, a fix. So if you just reverse it and say it's a fix for groovy init hooks, uh, then okay, it can be reported uh, to the next LTS release. Uh, but uh, if you introduce new milestones, document everything, it will be much harder to backport it. It's still doable, uh, but we need to talk about that. So I think that uh, you can just assign the section item to me because it was me who uh, caused that. And uh, yeah, I think that I should just clean it up. Um, so adjust, so add, is it add new milestones? So not add new milestones, is it add new? Groovy hooks and Jenkins core? Uh, well, yeah, we need to add new hooks in Jenkins core. And we need uh, to fix uh, the behavior of the init hook. Uh, maybe. Because, so the problem that uh, init hook is this, it makes no sense uh, anyway. So we need uh, to define strict uh, initialization uh, rules there. And I will probably just press it with what Fran did. So we retain status quo like we had uh, before the change. Because right now we need hook can be triggered uh, in parallel with draw loading or it can be triggered uh, after everything is initialized. So you cannot really do anything reliably with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the other issue with this pull request is the, um, so there's a test here that tries to reproduce the race condition. Um, this test initializer, um, it's using init.yaml. Um, so it's using a cloud and it's using a whole bunch of stuff. Not sure if it needs all of this. Um, so it's using cloud and LDAP security realm um, and a bit of other configuration. And it's trying to, it's trying to get the git tool configuration and check that the file has been created. Um, but this is this has not been very stable. Um, and this is, just trying to remember this test what it's doing. So once it finds the git tool file, it creates a file to say that it exists. I was trying to run after JCask and before 
job loading. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure whether we need to adjust the test or not bring it in or. Oh, I think that uh, this test mostly tests the code is written. Yeah. So as long as the code is written correctly, basically the test just confirms that, and it will be quite hard to maintain that. So I don't have strong opinion, and uh, I can leave without uh, this test being just removed or commented out for now, just to document that uh, we need uh, to have something more stable. Yeah. No. So yeah, I think I'm happy with that as well. I would probably remove the test before merge if if we're happy to do that. Um, mm -hmm. if it's, um, it's not reproducible locally um, from what we can tell um, Francisco ran it 20 times locally and wasn't able to reproduce it um, it's fairly reliably reproducible in CI um, possibly slower and other things going on mm -hmm. um, but okay so let's just agree for now then that will not merge this but to move this forward we just need the groovy hooks sorted um, is that fine with everyone? All right, no objections. Um, so that's everything that I have. Um, has anyone added anything else or anything else they want to go through? Yeah, maybe uh, one question about uh, plugin installation manager uh, project idea. Uh, I wasn't uh, following the Gitter chat closely. But my understanding right now that we don't have uh, students applying to it, right? Or yeah, I've, I've seen I've seen no students interested in it. Okay. Well, it doesn't particularly block us because we still can do community bridge if needed, uh, or we can uh, implement whatever we need on our own. Uh, so, yeah, I was just wondering what is uh, the current state. No, there's, there's been users coming in. Um, with questions and whatnot, but there's been no one, um, no one interested in the project that I've seen. Well, we would like to have a huge search of uh, applications and questions just in several days. Um, but yeah, I would say that success ratio of these applications isn't that high. So let's see how it goes. Okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, actually, I was interested in this project idea, but you're allowed to apply for only three. It's, it's difficult to make uh, so many proposals. Yeah, probably you shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you're willing to work on this area, you can uh, definitely do something in parallel, uh, or maybe there should be uh, could be some uh, opportunities. So yeah, for example, definitely. If, if we talk about uh, Docker polling and uh, Docker request system proposal, there is definitely a lot of opportunities to interact with JCast. For okay. GitHub uh, checks API, yeah, there might be some errors. I'm not sure. Yeah, prob think, uh, probably not, other than just being compatible with it. Yeah. Okay. So, but uh, let's see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I submitted a single, a single pull request to the plugin installation manager. I guess there needs to be tests added to that PR. So uh, since the project proposal period is over, I guess now I have some free time to, since the results will be announced uh, a bit late, a month later, I guess. Uh, so mm -hmm. till I guess something I can, I can maybe contribute to some of these areas. Yes. Tests and. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's, a, there's a wire mock test here. I don't know why the PR hub is failing. Probably just infrastructure failing. Yeah, it just died. Yeah. Mocking is not a uh, stable engine. Well, sometimes we have issues regarding why mock, I believe it, it's even more suspicious to failures. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Tout va. All right. Anything else? Nothing for me. Cool. Oh. So I'll try to get uh, milestones uh, pull request submitted uh, tomorrow because it's already a bit overdue. And since it may be a subject for dot two back portent, uh, yeah, I'll try to do as soon as possible. Cool, that'd be good. Be great to get this out. Okay. All right. Thanks all. Thanks, everyone. Yep. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.